Uh, hello, this is Patrick Jackson uh, back with another, with another video and today I want to show you how to get the high-tech C compiler for CPM. Uh, the reason I'm very interested in this compiler is because it uh, compiles for Z80 bytecode instead of Intel 8080 bytecode. So if you're running a Z80 or a Z180 system you'll get much, uh, you will normally get much more efficient results uh, rather than relying on the 8080 backwards compatibility. Uh, the Aztec C compiler can only do 8080 bytecode. Um, it's very nice for like the Altair or you know Z80 compatibility, but if you want something that's a little faster, a little more tuned to your stuff, then use the high tech C compiler. Also, the uh, implement the C implementation is a lot more modern, so it'll be easier to port things back and forth between modern uh, modern systems and CPM systems. Okay, so how do we do this? So by default, the high tech C compiler comes as an LZH archive, which uh, on if you don't have a CPM system with a trusty LZH decom uh, decompressor, this is going to be really hard for you to uh, unarchive because you have no idea what kind of LZH archive it is, if it's compressed, uncompressed, mode 1, 2, 3. Um, and the tools uh, are very hard to find. However, uh, ROMWBW, the system I'm using, already has a CPM tool called DARC. And what it does is it decompresses ARC archives. So I have a method to, uh, to decompress an LZH archive on Windows and then repackage it as an ARC file for you to send over to your system and de-archive there. So I don't actually have this file anymore. So what we gotta first do is go to the site and download the high tech uh, LZ80, it's a L, the high tech C compiler. Okay, so then we go to s command prompt. Oh, uh, first, also, you have to have these two tools LHA and ARC. If you're running Linux, you can either install them in your using your package manager or you already have them by default. If you're running Windows and you don't want to use Linux, um, go to this site, the GNU 132. They have all the packages wrapped up for Windows, and it's just it's just the best. Um, anyway, I have these. I have LHA and ARC f uh, put in a path variable for me. So let's go here. Go to CD downloads. Let's make folder um, Z eighty V three oh nine. Okay, let's. Let's try this out. So let's do LHA dash E backslash there. And here we go. Um, all of the files are here. Now you have to be careful. Um, when you unarchive the LZH file, it'll just dump into your directory. So that's why I made a separate directory. Okay, so now we have that let's package it back up into an arc file. So what we gotta do is arc, and then type in your, make sure you're in the directory with all the files you wanna put into an arc, and then do arc, and then put in the name of the archive file you want. So I'm gonna do z80v309.arc with a C. What happened here? Okay, sorry about that. For some reason, I totally forgot how to do it, but I got it working again. So what you gotta do is you have to type in arc, A to add, and then, uh, well, first of all, make sure you're in the directory with all your files you wanna archive. Type in arc, A to add, and then the name of your archive uh, file, file you wanna make. See, so adv309.arc. And as you can see, everything is added. And if I go here, there is my archive file. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to go here, open up my Z80 computer. I'm gonna reboot it. We're gonna go to uh, H drive, got nothing here. So let's transfer a file over, bxmr z80v309.arc. 
File transfer, X modem, send. Okay, and then wait for it to send. It is a kind of big file. I'll just wait for that. Okay, and we're done. That took a bit, but you know, this is how it happened in the old days. And I think back in the old days when you were using CPM, you didn't have baud rates of 115,200. You had baud rates more like 600 or 900, you know, something way slower. So be thankful that it's this quick. Anyway, boom, we now have the ARC. Uh, now, if we go to the B drive, which is the ROM on this, um, do DIR, you can see that we in fact have a tool. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, on arc. Sorry, I think I said DARC. I meant to say DARC is actually DLBR. On arc is the tool we're going to use. So this is what we do. We go back to the drive. So you're back in the H directory. And what we do is do B on arc. We do the name Z80V309. You specify the drive, H, and I want all the files on archive, so I do asterisk dot asterisk. Uh, I didn't spell right. Z80 V309 H. There we go. Okay, now let's just wait. Okay, uh, looks like we're done extracting. So if we do DIR, you can see that everything is here. Um, if I just, if I do, wait, is that CP, is that C++? Okay, yeah, it's not C++, it's just the C compiler. Um, so, so here's uh, the high tech C compiler. Um, looks like it's all there. And now all you have to do is just uh, find the manual and figure out how to compile for certain things and figure out its syntax. Uh, that's what I'll be doing for the next few days. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, I'll have the links down uh, in the description for you uh, because this was mm, a bit of a process to do. But until next time, see ya.